For the very first time, an exclusive look at how local men and women are, at this very moment, getting rid of some of the most dangerous weapons in the world. The group at the Edgewood Chemical Biological Center in Aberdeen, Maryland, has taken on a monumental task, and all the world is watching. And only on ABC7 tonight, Scott Thuman takes us on base to see how they're neutralizing sarin gas from Syria. At the end of this Edgewood, Maryland road, a game-changing engineering wonder seen for the first time now. The mustard agent is actually pumped into the reactor. It is called the FDHS, Field Deployable Hydrolysis System. In layman's terms, it's taking all of the mustard gas and ingredients for sarin gas found in Syria and neutralizing This stuff is very toxic. So how do you rate something like this? This, this would be a 10. This would be very deadly. With no real notice, the Army engineers, chemists, and scientists came up with a design from scratch, worked around the clock, and created this in an amazing six months. This is a um, national treasure. Almost immediately, a hitch. We actually thought we'd be in the desert or we would be on some other land-based place. With no country anxious to host the deadly toxins, it was decided they'd retrofit it all to be used at sea aboard the USS Cape Ray. That meant they had to adapt the system for a ship quickly. Building the FDHS is one thing, moving it is another. It can take 35 to 40 of these cargo containers, almost this entire line, just to transport the system. It's not just the device. There are storage tanks, heaters, generators, a portable laboratory, even decontamination rooms should the worst occur. We're going to pump in 1,800 gallons of water. That water needs to be at 194 degrees Fahrenheit. It's working. Using two of these systems side by side at a cost of four to five million a piece, they are diligently doing away with 600 tons of material. When everybody asks us, how long is it going to take? Our hope is 60 to 90 days total for destruction. A 24 hour operation overseen by 40 civilians from Aberdeen who volunteered to manage the mission of ridding the world of weapons of mass destruction. Scott Thuman, ABC 7 News.